And the next speaker is Cyprus, Her Excellency, Ambassador Rafti. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. On behalf of the Republic of Cyprus, I would like to thank the Swedish Chairpersonship for hosting this Ministerial Council and to commend its exemplary work and leadership throughout the very challenging year. This Ministerial provides the opportunity to focus our deliberations on bringing the OSC back to basics as per the objective of the Swedish Chairpersonship in order to move forward and find solutions to threats and challenges to the security and well-being of our societies. Newly emerging and protracted conflicts, terrorism and transnational crime, an unprecedented flow of irregular migrants, human trafficking, challenges to democracy, human rights and fundamental freedoms, climate change are issues that need to be tackled collectively by OSC participating states. As has been underlined during the discussions initiated by the Swedish Chairpersonship on the efficiency of our organization, the OSC has a toolbox and mechanism to deal with these challenges. What is needed, however, is the political will in order to make effective use of the OSC tools in line with the OSC commitments and principles as enshrined in the Helsinki Final Act and the Paris Charter and with full respect to international law. Towards this end, we need to uphold and implement in a non-selective and non-discriminatory manner all values, principles and commitments of the OSC and to ensure respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all participating states. For Cyprus, this is imperative. We remain firm in our conviction that dialogue, cooperation, and effective multilateralism are the best way forward for a safer and more prosperous future. Madam Chair, unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic continues to pose significant challenges to the security, safety, and well-being of our citizens and our societies exacerbating pre-existing inequalities and vulnerabilities within this, our societies, including in relation to trafficking in human beings. We all agree on the urgency needed to tackle these challenges. The Republic of Cyprus will continue to actively support actions and initiatives in multilateral and regional fora, including also within the OSC, to combat organized transnational organized crime with a special emphasis on the areas of countering human trafficking and illicit trade in cultural heritage. Cyprus, being a country where different religions and denominations coexist with mutual respect, fully adheres to the commitments undertaken in the context of the OEC that aim to promote freedom of religion, belief or conscience, and to combat intolerance and discrimination. We pay particular attention to gender equality, and we seek to contribute to regional and international uh, level in all efforts that promote uh, the equality between women and men, including in the economic field. We strongly support the focus on mainstreaming and gender perspective in all OSCE activities as an essential component of comprehensive security, and we commend the Swedish Chairpersonship for making gender equality the top priority of its chairpersonship. As the COVID-19 pandemic has highlighted further the necessity to focus on a newer, greener model of sustainability, it is clear that tackling the challenge of ch climate change requires concerted efforts by all, us all. Cyprus is determined to contribute to global and regional efforts to mitigate the effects of climate change. We recognize the role of the OSC towards these efforts. As a strong supporter of multilateralism and a country whose Mediterranean identity is a key pillar of its foreign policy, Cyprus attaches great importance to the continued cooperation with our OEC Mediterranean partners. This commitment is also reaffirmed by our support to the OEC projects within, with the Mediterranean partners. The Republic of Cyprus has spearheaded various initiatives aiming to enhance resilience in our region. It is precisely within this framework that we established a web of trilateral cooperation mechanism geared towards promoting collaboration. This is a project with a positive agenda founded on the principles of international law and good neighborly relations. It is neither exclusionary nor exclusive, aspiring exclusively to advance the cause of peace, security, and stability in our region. Madam Chair, we're all concerned about the recent tensions in and around Ukraine. The Republic of Cyprus reiterates its support to the sovereignty, independence, and territorial integrity of Ukraine 
and supports the efforts of the normally format, the trilateral contact group, and is appreciative of the role of the SMM. A lasting and comprehensive settlement to the conflict of Nagorno-Barabakh is of utmost importance. We reiterate our full support to the co-chairs of the OSC Minsk Group and their efforts in accordance with their mandate to achieve a final settlement and to find comprehensive solutions to all the remaining problems linked or resulting from the conflict, including with regard with the most urgent issues such as the release of all prisoners of war and other detainees. We also support the OSC's ongoing efforts for finding lasting settlements to the protracted conflicts in Moldova and in Georgia within the agreed formats. Madam Chair, we reiterate our support to both Estonia and Finland and welcome their readiness to lead our organization in 2024 and 2025, respectively. In conclusion, I would like to thank Minister Linder and the Swedish Chairpersonship for all their efforts in leading the OSC throughout 2021. We look forward to working with the incoming chairmanship of Poland, who has done an exemplary work in chairing the OSC Mediterranean Partners for Cooperation Group in very challenging times. We assure our Polish colleagues of our full support and cooperation. Thank you.